Madam Speaker, what I think is a little bit sad here, two things. One, most of the chairs in this room, and those of you watching on the internet and those in the gallery, most of these chairs are empty, or at least half of them are. And the most important thing we do today, yes, Dennis, I see you over there. Okay, you don't count, you're here. Some over there. Chairs are even empty on our side. The other thing that I think is a bit sad in a, in a, a body that encompasses debate, questions, and the give and take of ideas and positions, we didn't want to extend debate. Somebody was kidding me out in the, in, in the back that three hours is too long. Three hours is too long to debate the most important issue that we do all year on the last day. We've been essentially put to, the, to our heads that we've got to vote for this with less than three hours to go. We've had all session to do this. My friend that was waving the book about, you're right, there's nothing in that blue book that says you have to negotiate or discuss with the other side. But I'll tell you a guy that did one time, and his name was Henry Bellman. He did it twice, when he's governor the first time and he did it the second time, because he knew, as a statesman, it's best to bring all parties into the discussion instead of a select few, which is going on here. Few dis Only three minutes and 40 seconds to say what I have to say. A couple of the topics we need to discuss. Talk about the tax credits. Earn income tax credit, attack the working poor. A couple of figures you all need to know, just two real quick. Since 2010, the horizontal well gross production tax credit went from 75 million to over 360 million for a difference of 285. Jeez, we didn't talk about cigarette tax. There's a whole pile of money there we just threw down the drain. And then we got the, these are just two of them, by the way. The investment new uh, jobs tax credit went from 35 million to 98 million in four years. Total those two up, 348 million. My point is, someone was mentioning, I think it was the chairman of appropriations who's not here, I guess he's getting ready for his debate. Pools of money, you don't want to admit it, $900 million sitting right there on the table. But you want to attack us. It was right there, but you didn't want to do it. Talking about the welfare of single mothers and children. Let's talk about the budget here, folks, and let anybody understand in the press. This House of Representatives, I don't care how you cut it, and this is what's going to get many of you on the other side if you don't vote no. We are giving this body a 4 to 5 percent increase in appropriations. That is wrong. Those of you that have been in the military, and my father has, generals and leaders, representative for more, lead from the front, not from the rear. We are leading from the rear. You all are leading from the rear because you all just admitted we aren't even part of this discussion. Higher ed being cut 18 percent. Give me a break. That is a, I don't care, no one else will say it, I'll say it. This is a direct retribution against the president of the University of Oklahoma for his proposal to increase the sales tax to fund higher education appropriately. These are public institutions, not private institutions for the well-being of our school children. A couple of things real quick. There are many in this body, many in the other chamber, that want to starve government to death. They're getting their way. I propose to you all that that is not the way to be responsible legislators. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just, you believe me, not believe me, whatever. I'm on the street every day, in the neighborhoods every day, and around town every day. The pulse of the people. And I can tell you, there's a trumpet bugle of change that is occurring in this state. You don't have to believe it, but you do so at your own peril. It is changing. The winds, the five most important issues that I submit to this body that the people reflect are education, health care, jobs, security, and you can tack in veterans and seniors. Those are the five areas. And if you look at this budget, it's a disgrace. I ask, even though the fellow from forget what, Enid, I believe, you don't have to let us participate in that book. You're right that you do so at your own peril. For the future, I ask that people that in this body, the new speaker from Ada, have a visionary view of the future. The people of this state, I've been all over this country and all over the world. They're the greatest people on earth. The beauty of this state physically is beyond measure. And the beauty of, these pe of the people of Oklahoma. Let's give them the honor of doing what's right. Vote no on this budget. Encompass everything. We have time to do it, even if we have to come back to it. Do the right thing. Send a message that we can do a better job. Let's do it right and vote no.